That's kind of gorgeous. <laughs> okay, that's weird, guys. The sun is showing right there, but I'm looking up and it's actually about like right there. That's, what the? Ah, it's just blinding. Ha, interesting. Anyway, good morning. Just let the babies out and check on them. Try not to die. Yup. Morning, dinosaurs. Yep. <laughs> Hola. Okay. Oh yeah, man. You can feel the you can feel the moisture in here this morning, like warm warm moisture. If that makes sense. <sighs> Boys and girls. All right. So you guys often ask I don't really talk about it much we don't feed anything exciting to the chickens uh, rural king chicken food basically I like to mix ours with man the lighting this morning is just rough I like to mix ours with whole corn <sighs> shower bath I find that the ground corn is too grindy and just turns into powder. You end up with too much powder that's completely wasted that they don't eat. And I don't really do anything with Grub Terra anymore, but still like the Black Soldier Fly just for added protein, especially going in the winter. Oop, get down to the bottom though. I'll try to get some air. Uh, let's pretend like that worked. <laughs> so I just do two parts of chicken food, which is a 16% protein and one part whole corn. And that's pretty much it. Oh my goodness, y'all. Go back about three, four weeks and look at this stall. And it was barely, <laughs> well, hi Frosty Mom. It was like, it was, it was empty with the same number of goats in it. You know what I mean? Like it just felt empty. But now I looked in here this morning for the first time and I was just like, oh my gosh, this stall is, is full. Well, your, 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 your stallion-ness, I don't know if that's a word, fills most of this all, senor. Mm-hmm. Yes, your awesomeness fills most of this all, sir. Okay. I just said, I walked past and I looked in and it, and it just hit me like this thing is almost full and I wanted to show you guys. Are you, are you, are you watching over your kingdom, sir? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Maybe this will just be one of those days where you just get... I mean, I cannot believe how freaking big this boy is getting... It's like he was baby Rye, and then all of a sudden he's just getting monstrous. Of course, his mom's a freaking milk cow. Mama, did you get enough to eat? Uh, yeah, you did. I'm sure you did. Even if you didn't, you're like someone's grandma. Like, no, you guys go ahead and eat. Do you want more? There's more left. I'll eat this sprig of lettuce. <laughs> That's why we love our grandmas. Good morning, sweet little angel. This isn't necessarily a trick, but obviously... If you unlock the door and they know it's unlocked. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, we're not going to the milk stand. No, that's cookies. No, no. Okay, now that we fixed that problem. <laughs> you're such a weenie. I like how you went you go from immobile to like I'm gonna I'm gonna wreck this milk stand, knock this cookie down and not worry about anything but she's doing really well guys as you can see uh in the video where i was moving them back to the barn 
away from the road. I'm actually quite surprised that she went, not that she went out with the herd, but that she went through the fence and went all the way down to the road. But I wanted to let you guys know where we are, what we're doing with her. Because I haven't really talked about it much, but she is doing really, really well. And we started her, I think it was April, we started her on Meloxicam. She gets two tablets a day. I don't quite know what the dose is on that. Well, I can check on that for you. She gets two Meloxicam in the morning, and she gets 12.5 milligrams of CBD active so CBD is weird and you have to do a lot of research. I found that the animal CBD versus the human CBD, there's really no difference at all. I don't think there's any difference from what I can find. And from some of the local companies that I've talked to, it seems to be mostly marketing. And of course, an upcharge because you think it's for pets. So do your research, but that that's my finding. I would absolutely recommend you do your research before you buy anything don't take my word for that but she has been on cbd md it's the berry blend we have found that the 1500 it's, it's I don't, 50 milligrams of that is cbd per serving and then we give her a quarter of that dose which is 12.5 milligrams and it has just it's perfect. We, we found the sweet spot. Obviously, this can't be cured. We could probably put some sort of wraps or splints on her legs, but I prefer it's... I, I, she needs to bend them. She doesn't have a problem getting up. She needs to keep moving those joints. The cartilage is all gone, and the bones are... will eventually fuse together. And so that's why it's important for her to just keep moving those joints so that the bone can't fuse. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Is there more food in here? Is there more food over there? <laughs> Did you take your pills? Yes, okay, perfect. So she's, she's I mean, I think she's, she's, I didn't think she would get here. So I, me saying I think she's better than she has been or will be is would be, uh, you know, not not a truthful statement because I don't really know what her upside is. Uh, I've seen her downside, and it's literally just laying in a pile all day, getting up just enough to eat, drink, and laying back down. But she's been... There's nothing in it. There's nothing... There's nothing in it. You're just going to lick it out? Even There's nothing in there. You're a silly potato. Did you eat all your breakfast already? I'm sure you did. Two seconds in. Cookie's not fat. Cookie's not pregnant. Just so everybody knows. She's basically, after several ultrasounds, she just retains fluid. And I'm sure we're all familiar with that. <laughs> but she does. She, she, if you do an ultrasound in here, it's, it's mostly just fluid filled. And I don't know if it's because one of her organs isn't working properly. There's nothing that we know of or have been able to discover with the vet. And I say again, we've done several different kinds of hormone treatments and nothing has worked to get her pregnant, but she's cookie don't care and we don't care. She will live here until the end for sure. Uh, somebody asked me what is overweight or over conditioned. Technically the term would be over conditioned for goats. And it's partly knowing your goats because she walks around about 50, 55 pounds. So overweight for her would be 65 pounds maybe. But it's more of a, of, a, of, a, of a look at her. If she's getting, if she's getting handfuls of fat right here, if she's getting, you know, chunky here and here, they get fat in the neck, they get fat up here. That's kind of where you're looking out for. You don't want them overly conditioned or over conditioned. She looks good. She looks fantastic. Look how shiny she is. And I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> now in your black goats, I can see that she's starting to get 
a couple of red spots here. Now we have done a couple different things this year. We sold the sheep. <laughs> so as I was saying, since we got rid of the sheep, we were able to get a goat food that actually has copper in it. We weren't able to feed anything with copper in it because of the sheep. Even when we weren't feeding the sheep, we didn't want to risk them potentially getting into the food and dying. So you'll see like she has a couple little red spots starting to show up on her. And when you see that in your black goats or your dark colored goats, that usually means they're about due for copper and they're pretty much, they've gotten, I don't know, probably a month, month and a half additional out of not needing to have a copper bolus. So that's a good sign. And we're just pretty much just getting started with getting them the right balance of copper in their diet alone. And then we're going to switch over to a copper based uh, loose mineral. We were feeding the Purina Wind and Rain. And that is specifically a sheep mineral. And since we no longer have the sheep, we don't have to worry about having mineral out that the sheep might get into that has copper in it. So good there. Plus that stuff is like $49 for 40 pounds. Might be a 50 pound bag but i'm pretty sure it's 40 pounds for 50 bucks and they kind of go through a ton of it it'll be nice to have a that's not the price i mean we knew it was expensive when we started using it but we chose it because it's probably the next best thing you can use without well there's one that she really 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 loves but we can't get it unless you live out west and they don't even ship it this way. But now, you, hi. We'll be able to just switch to a straight, straight good goat uh, mineral. And Rai Rai, did you get some of that mom milk in you? Now you're all, don't mess with that one, bro. Do not mess with that one. Look, Mama Struzel is a patient old grandma. When she runs out of patience with the babies, she will go right for the tail and she will just grab him by his tail and whip him across the room. You want to get whipped across the room? <laughs> this guy, I'm going to weigh him. Let's weigh him. He is turning into a freaking stallion. You're gorgeous, big man. I don't have a base weight to give you guys, though, so weighing him really is not going to say much. <laughs> okay, we'll call you 17 pounds. How about that? How about that? 17 pounds. I was thinking you were a little bigger. You're looking big, but you might just be getting fat hair. I don't know why I'm zoomed in. Y'all know I'm not a professional, right? I picked up a camera one day. Started talking about goats. And all you amazing people showed up. And then some amazing opportunities popped into our life. And then bunches of thousands more of y'all showed up. And you tune in every day. And we love you for that. It is amazing. So let's get to the uh, the title of the video, which is who who ended up getting the loot shots and who didn't. Uh, it's a sad day. I don't like the outcome. Uh, my preference and my hope was that zero babies ended up or zero goats ended up getting the loot shot, whether baby or adult. We ended up doing... We ended up giving five shots. <sighs> Twinkie got a shot. She's too small. There was no no choice, no chance that she wasn't getting a shot. Uh, drumstick, yeah, you, you, you are just as gorgeous as your mama. You know that? Maybe even prettier than your mama's at. Can we say that without getting in trouble? But Drummy got a shot. Sugar Pie got a shot. We did have another round of conversations with the vet we're not worried about the hormone shot in the milk for this guy so safe to give her her shot they also the vet also 
kind of set our mind at ease a little bit about how hard it actually is on their body. It seems that it's, it's really not that dramatic at this stage. Now, we've, we've done a ton, a ton of research in the last few days, the last 21 days. We actually were going to do the shot at 10 days. We decided to wait one whole heat cycle for 21 days to give the shot. I get easily distracted. Y'all know that. <laughs> That's why I just tell you I love you all the time so you can have patience with my, with my squirrel brain. So I'm going to reiterate who we looted. Twinkie, Drummy Drumstick, Frost, uh, Sparkle, not Frosty, Sparkle, Sugar Pie, and Genji. So those are the five. We decided not to loot Tootsie. We think she'll be big enough in a month to possibly... We don't have her in the fall breeding schedule. Just know that. But she came into heat and I was 100% uh, positive that she had come into heat. And I was just slightly less positive that this one came into heat. So we used that as our kind of our standard. And <sighs> big boy, why do you do that little head whip when you jump off of something like that? Like you're the man. <laughs> because you are the man. <laughs> So we didn't end up looting Toots or Mississippi and everybody else had come into heat. So we're very confident that we looted the right goats. And I have a, he has his head trapped in, in my. So here's a little bit of goofiness from last night when H and I came over here to do the shots. Yeah, this is why Papa don't do that cookie game. Y'all are psychotic. Mm hmm. That's how you'll be dead. They'll find you dead one day. You came to give goats cookies and they trampled you to death. Well, I would say I died, died happy, but maybe not. Especially <laughs> this one, because she weighs like 80 pounds. Who, who have you given cookies to? Um, Almost everybody now. Mm, are you sure? Not Frosty. Did Mama give you a cookie? No, because babies don't get cookies. Here, I'll get Mama Frosty if you want to give me one. Go go get your mom. Don't pretend like you... No. Be nice to her. Be nice. I don't... Honey, I don't have it. Miss Josie, you coming in. Mama's got cookies. I did give her one already. Oh. I mean, I guess that's one way to get your food. Up. If you pinch me, I know what you're trying to do. First of all, okay, first of all, you need to go go find your mom. She's looking for you. Second of all, yes, she is a slight helicopter mom. And third, this beard. Everybody talks about this beard. I have never one time touched this beard. I've never cut it, never trimmed it. It just grows in. You don't make filming easy. You do realize that, right? But you also make filming amazing because you're just so lovely and fun and I love you. But you're driving me crazy and I might have to put you somewhere else. But this beard, I have never touched. It grows in flat on the bottom like that. It is just perfectly shaped. It is just... <laughs> right, right. Um... Okay, well, I was leaned back a tiny bit. It's my goat beard. Get out of here, you weenie. You'll find your mom. No, I think I heard her calling for you. Hey! Are you gonna chew my string off? This is why we can't have nice things. I know, I know, I know. Mm-hmm, that's why I always put my coat outside. Oh, look, you pop outside and more goats and a kitty. It's like wild America around here. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I really wanted to not loot any goats, but we ended up looting just five, which is better than 17. And I think we did our due diligence for 
watching, making sure that every goat came into heat. So we were confident that they came into heat and only looting the girls that we just really, one, you know, like, like Twinkie and Drumstick were always gonna get the shot because they're just too small this year to breed. And everybody else was up in the air, but I think, I think we've done the right thing with it. I cannot wait. <laughs> hey, you look like your daddy. Without all the white, of course. <laughs> Jack had all that, that white. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm gonna have to start putting you in timeout. And guys, we are... <clears throat> Yeah, so on this note right here, there is a chance that the loot shot can bring them into heat within one to two days of receiving the shot. Now, one to three days, let's say. If that does happen, we are going to breed Genji and we are going to breed Sparkle. Outside of that, if it doesn't happen like that, they could come into heat at any point, but at a minimum, they should come into heat within 21 days. That's a rough time frame for the Nigerian dwarf. 18 to 21 days, roughly, they'll come in and out of the heat cycle. And then they're in heat for generally three days. What we're trying to do is catch them on the first day of their heat, only breed them on the first day of their heat. And I hope to get girls. Thanks, Danelle. And then... If we miss that cycle next time around, they will 100%. We will leave them in there. We will put them back in and back in back in with the boys until they are bred. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this. I just don't know where this comes from. I mean, she's got six to eight inches of hair just on her ridge line. You're very interesting. You're very interesting. Hi. It's just not. I'm not a jungle gem. My name's not even Jim. Goodness. I'm just gonna know. No. Okay, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it. Otherwise I'm just gonna continue to ramble on. And we'll go from there. And we thank you guys and we love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.